first reforms was land reform. One of the first reforms was land reform. Now, um, we established uh, land reform. formula I sent to Mr. Marcos and I said we should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. Kindly remain standing for the national anthem of the People's Republic of China. Seated. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA because uh, he uh, outrages the people, he abuses the people, so more people join the Communist Party. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si sa Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. Gusto ninyo China Sea is part province, Fujian, pati of the Republic of China. Province of and China, China said, this is our land. This is our sea. Province of, uh, Philippines, Why? Uh, Republic Because of they are China. there. The nearest is and Fujian. so we give it. I, I, I love China. It has helped us a bit. Ang lolo ko Chinese. Yan ang ugali ng check. Most of us are really almost of uh, Chinese uh, ancestry. We love our country and we love the people. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si sa Duterte. At ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte. At ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Duterte, maluwag yung bunga nga. Uh, sabi niya, yung kapag akong presidente, isang paan ng NPA nasa malakad niya na. No? Ready for coalition. Boy, ang NPA! Mabuhay! 
Magbuhay si Duterte! <laughs> If I make it, I will be the first left president in this country. I belong to the left. Uh, that's the reason why I raise my fist because I am a member of Bayan. I am a member of Bayan. We are united in one. I wrote this formula. I've said in many of my writings that the National Democratic Front, especially its militant arm, the New People's Army, has been instrumental in many social changes in our country. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. At ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. At ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. What ails the climate change? over the periods of generations of just talk and at the end of a century or two there is trouble there is war i have even fired several cabinet members for attending so many climate change conferences one of my cabinet members traveled 20 times outside of the country just to listen to what animal is this climate change uh, the, how many CIAs are here today <laughs> nobody such pretensions Duterte maluwag yung bunga nga sabi niya yung Kapag akong presidente, isang paa ng NPA nasa malakad lang na. No? Ready for coalition. I wrote this formula. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. And will I realign myself in your ideological flow and maybe I will also go to Russia to talk to Putin and tell him that... Uh, There are three of us against the world. China, Philippines, and Russia. It's the only way. I wrote this formula. Um, I have been told, for instance, that uh, our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal's great-grandfather by the name of uh, Ke Kenan, lived in Kyongge village in Xinjiang, Fujian. Kapag akong presidente, isang paa ng NPA nasa malakad lang na. No? Ready for coalition. If I make it, I will be the first left president in this country. I belong to the left. Uh, that's the reason why I raise my fist because I am a member of Bayan. I am a member of Bayan. We are united in one. I wrote this formula. Mabuhay ang NPA! Mabuhay! Mabuhay si Duterte! Mabuhay! <laughs> I've said in many of my writings that the National Democratic Front, especially its militant arm, the New People's Army, has been instrumental in many social changes in our country. Nangyayari, in the past, Uh, since the Cory administration, lumakas ang NPA. Kasi yung panahon ni Marcos, eh, malapit na kami bumagsak noon eh. It was only the Cordillera Group that saved the situation. Pero nung dumating yung Cory administration, biglang lumakas yung NPA. Dahil uh, pinalakas na ng gobyerno. 3, 2, 1. Isang magandang pagkakataon nung ating mga kapanayam uh, ngayong araw na ito si Father Conrado Balweg, ang pinuno po ng Cordillera Budong Administration at ng Cordillera People's Liberation Army. Narito po siya at tatanungin po natin ang isang ilang mahalagang katanungan. Una po sa lahat, Father Balweg, ano po ang sinasabi niyong narinig namin pahayag na ang current effort po ng ating pamahalaan, ang peace initiative na tinatawag natin ay hindi magiging successful o hindi magiging matagumpay? 
when I made that statement, is is based on the fact that uh, kung ikaw ay magkaroon ng panawagan na magkaroon tayo ng uh, we resolve our problem and establish peace, I that is with the belief na both of you are for peace, no? <clears throat> Pero hindi ganon eh. Hindi peace ang isyo, kundi politika. For the Communist Party, the issue is politics in in the sense na what they why they are or why they came into being or why they are organized is for them <clears throat> to take political power to become the government or to be the one in Malacanang. Yun yung issue, hindi yung peace. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si sa Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. So we are addressing the problem, uh, not the correct problem, but we are talking on something that is beyond the point. So the the NPA is created in order for the Communist Party to be the ones in government. That is the issue. So what peace are we talking about? Hindi man peace yung issue sa Communist Party, kundi sa kanila ang issue ay politika. And when I came back to Dallas, Texas, I immediately took the telephone and I called Mr. Marcos and I told his Deputy Defense Minister, tell the President I have a formula. Maybe I said, this is my way to help our people. Tell the President I said, what he has done to me, I have already forgiven and I have already forgotten. I have no bitterness against Mr. Marcos. I have no rancor against Mr. Marcos. All I want to do is to help our people stop this bloodshed. So please tell the President I said, I have a formula. In two days, I said, I will be sending him a formula. And I wrote this formula, a secret formula I sent to Mr. Marcos, and I said, we should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. We should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And once they've expounded their ideas and the Filipino people should opt them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I will not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. But it should be the Filipino people in the ultimate sense who will judge which ideology and which cause that they should endorse. This is my way to help Marcos. Mr. Marcos, Filipinos are dying. And this is a possible breakthrough. And this is a possible breakthrough. What did Mr. Marcos do? What did Mr. Marcos do? At the same time, I ask uh, um, the um, opposition party to come and join me in a coalition government. I offered one half of the cabinet. And of course, they laughed at me and said, why should we join you? We're going to take over the government. By the time you are through with the exercise, you're dead, politically and otherwise. <laughs> so, and they, uh, shall I tell you that uh, we almost turned communists because you refused to recognize us. Shall I tell you that uh, I had a difficult time stopping my guerrillas, 25,000 of them from joining the communists, because precisely you, you, you uh, sort of forgot that uh, we had done the fighting for you, you know, and uh, we were parts of your armed forces. Most of our allies in Europe concerned about resisting communism give the U.S. free bases and even share the cost. Why shouldn't we expect the same kind of cooperation from the Philippines instead of demands for more rent? By uh, constitutional mandate, social justice is a matter of national policy and a priority objective of government. And this is why one of the first reforms was land reform. One of the first reforms was land reform. Now, um, we established uh, land reform.
formula, a secret formula I sent to Mr. Marcos and I said, we should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. Now, um, we established uh, land reform. We were fighting a group known as the Hukbalahaps, Hukbung Nagpapalaya Nambayan. It was socialist inclined. It was leftist. But uh, they were friends of mine. It was leftist. It was socialist inclined. It was leftist. But uh, they were friends of mine because we had fought in the, uh, se in the Second World War together. And uh, so I approached them and I said, look, I'm going to establish land reform. If you're fighting for land reform against the feudalistic agrarian uh, system, then you must join me. And they did. I want to introduce to you the leader of that rebellion, who is now present and is a part of the government, Mr. Luis Tarouk. <laughs> he is a member of the National Assembly. The one, one reason why he ran to the hills, according to him, was he was elected as a member of the old legislature and he was not recognized as such. He and the others. Now I want to introduce to you another uh, leader of the Free Farmers Federation, which is uh, also composed of farmers who wanted reform, but uh, who are fighting for reform, but who are now joining in the effort to establish political stability and economic prosperity throughout the country, and who was dean of the College of Law of the University of Ateneo, but abandoned his deanship in order that he may join in the effort to attain the uh, noble mission of this new society. I refer to uh, as National Assemblyman Jerry Montemayor. <laughs> President, <laughs> President of the Federation of Free Farmers of the Philippines. I would like to introduce also to you a young man who uh, was very active against the government in 1972 and uh, who paraded around the streets raising the flag of, of the Communist Party and organized the Kabatan Makabayan, which is the red organization of the youth. And this man is uh, Nilo Tayag. Is uh, he here? Anyway, he is uh, somewhere around here. But they have all joined, all these activists, to prove to you that all these stories about uh, our being oppressive uh, against uh, our enemies and our friends, they will join the government uh, to help uh, reform and uh, drive out all the corrupt people in the government. There was always extreme on both sides, enmity, if not enmity, extreme friendship. A relationship of love, hate, and this is my fate and destiny. <laughs> Not all this uh, talk about corruption and, and this, uh, all these uh, ridiculous statements about uh, uh, people in government uh, enriching themselves. When you have activists like Luis Tarok and uh, um, Jerry Montemayor, and Nilo Tayag, and this man who were ready to kill the president, uh, but who now sees that the reforms that are being instituted are for the good and welfare of the country, you don't engage in any of this uh, uh, foolishness that you talk about. No, everybody is sincere and earnest about making our democracy work. And I can tell you, I can tell you that Whoever um, has told you about uh, these uh, uh, unwholesome uh, uh, observations about the Philippines, better come back to the Philippines. I'll pay for your trip so you can uh, see what's actually happening. What relationship does the UNIDO party have to the National Democratic Front? who has played a central role in arguing the Filipino. Arguing the Filipino people's case against the Marcos dictatorship. 
and who presently has a base of support of over 10 million. I do not know the actual relationship today between the United Democratic Opposition in the Philippines and the National Democratic Front. I've said in many of my writings that the National Democratic Front, especially its militant arm, the New People's Army, has been instrumental in many social changes in our country. There may, have been a di there may be a difference in ideology and approach, but we are united in one. We are united against the dictatorship. My position is very clear. If we will succeed in overthrowing the dictatorship, we should allow every voice and every idea to ventilate their views in the public market. We should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And once they've expounded their ideas and the Filipino people should opt them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I will not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. But it should be the Filipino people in the ultimate sense who will judge which ideology and which cause that they should endorse. I belong to the left. Walang masama sa left. And I belong to the left. They are not a member of the ruling elite. It's Franz Yamin. Stay out. I ako wala akong partido but I choose PDP. Because PDP is actually left-leaning. As a matter of fact, the PDP guys take their oath of office with their left hand and shake with their left hand. Ganon ang ano ni Pimentel. Pimentel is in, parang ganon din, but not so. Kami yung sumunod mga radical. I started with Bayan. And I did well. I'm Chinese. Walang masama sa left. Franz Yamin. Ako po si Mr. Rio. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. The billionaires here, the family, the elite. Franz Yamin. Franz Yamin, China. So, nagsisinungaling ka. And I will promise you, it will be a clean and fair government for everybody. Uh, I wish you well. All the best for you. Makasama natin dyan. And hopefully, I will visit you before I will assume office. Kasi may ang, the agenda. Kasi yung agenda, and, uh, ang agenda, sir. Salamat ang usap, ang atang ito na magkausap tayo. At uh, maraming salamat sa uh, uh, prospect na uh, hindi magtatagal, magkita na tayo. We have also to have to prepare the agenda para pag nandito na eh, wala na masyadong uh, debate or issues and resolve. Diyan na ho natin na uh, gawain ang agenda yung uh, pagdating. The agenda only. Yan ang natutunan. Yan ang natutunan ko sa iyo, sir. Salamat. Maraming salamat. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I am not a member of the Communist Party. I do not agree. They're too far left. I do not agree with the armed struggle and killing of the people. Yung sa NPA naman, ang panawagan ko sa kanila, kung makikinig sila sa panawagan, mag-aral muna sila at tignan nila uh, kung ang kanilang, ang epekto ba ng kanilang paniniwala ay nakapagbibigyan ng buhay sa mamamayan o ang daming napatay. Kasi, they always blame the government na the government has killed so many people. Mas marami ang pinatay ng NPA na mahirap na mamayan kaysa yung napatay ng mga AFP noon. Ang napapalabas, parang ang AFP ang nagkakamali. Pero if you look at the data, mas maraming pinatay ng NPA. Even missionaries, priests, uh, in the Cordilleras, si Father Leo, an old missionary, they just liquidated him and uh, Inilibing nila na hindi na namin alam kung nasaan si Father Leo. We should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And once they've expounded their ideas and the Filipino people should opt them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I will not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. But it should be the Filipino people in the ultimate sense who will judge which ideology and which cause that they should indoors. Kayo naman ang kuna, may initiative na nanawagan na handa kayong makipag-coalition at uh, nagpakita ng pagkaunawa sa pangrama ng MDF. I've said in many of my writings that the National Democratic Front, 
especially its militant arm, the New People's Army, has been instrumental in many social changes in our country. I've said in many of my writings that the National Democratic Front, especially its militant arm, the New People's Army, has been instrumental in many social changes in our country. Please allow me to draw inspiration from the wisdom of the proverb as I propose a toast. 因此,我受中国这句谚语的智慧启迪,为此我举杯。my friends, may I invite you to raise your glasses. 朋友们,我请诸位举杯. To the good health and continued success of President Xi Jinping. 为了习近平主席, 为了您的身体健康和今后进一步的成功, To the seeds of friendship and cooperation we plant here today. 为了我们今天共同播撒下的友谊合作的种子, so the legacy of peace and prosperity that the succeeding generations will reap as a result of the improved relations between Republic of the Philippines and the People's Republic of China. 为了菲律宾共和国与中华人民共和国得以改善的关系, 以及我们为了下一代而播撒的种子, Kindly remain standing for the national anthem of the People's Republic of China. Seated. May we now invite President Xi Jinping for his remarks. Your Excellency, President Duterte, Madame Hanilat, and other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends, it is such a great pleasure to visit this amazing country at the invitation of President Duterte. This is a country known for its picturesque scenery, bountiful resources, and hospitable people. Mr. President, I want to thank you and your government for the warm reception accorded to me and my entire delegation. This afternoon, I laid a floral wreath at the Rizal Monument. Dr. Jose Rizal, the founding father of modern Philippines, led the struggle against colonial aggressors and made the ultimate sacrifice. And to be true to our founding fathers, for which he will always be remembered by the people of this country. Some of you may not know that his ancestry could be traced back to Jingjiang City in China's Fujian province, where there is also a monument dedicated to him and where his heroism is widely known. Jose Rizal is not only the father of this nation, but also a symbol of fraternal relations between the Philippines and China. Indeed, 
our fraternity goes back over a thousand years. I'm talking about the splendid maritime Silk Road that linked our two nations. Chinese merchants sailing to your shores and trading Chinese silk, porcelain, and tea for your pearls and sea products. History has shown that ours has always been a relationship between equals, a relationship between two good neighbors. After President Duterte took office, our two sides have worked together to remove any many obstacles. Our relationship has been turned around and put on the right trajectory. I commend the President for taking on Jose Rizal's mantle and for his commitment to the independent Philippines. Earlier today, the President and I agreed to elevate our relationship to one of comprehensive strategic cooperation. This decision, which will mark a new milestone in our relations, speaks to our shared determination to be good friends and good neighbors. We are truly pleased with this decision. And to be true to our founding fathers. In China, we have a saying, a single chopstick can be easily broken. With 10 of them tightly bundled, they can withstand much more damage. We are united in one. I know you have a similar proverb. A broom is sturdy because its strands are tightly bound. In that spirit, let us unite as one and create a better tomorrow for both of our countries. On that note, I'd like to ask everyone to raise their glasses to the prosperity and well-being of the Republic of the Philippines, to the lasting friendship between us, and to the health of President Duterte, Madam Hanilat, and everyone present. Cheers. Please remain standing for the Philippine National Anthem. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. And will I realign myself in your ideological flow and maybe I will also go to Russia to talk to Putin and tell him that uh, there are three of us against the world, China, Philippines and Russia. It's the only way. I wrote this formula. I have been told, for instance, that uh, our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal's great-grandfather by the name of uh, Kenan, lived in Kyongge village in Xinjiang, Fujian. I wrote this formula. Wherever you are, it's always changing. Geography is changing. Not the phys physical movement, but geography and politics, international politics, changes all the time. Gusto ninyo, gawain na lang ninyo kaming province, Fujian, pati Philippine province of China. Di wala tayong problema. Oh. Province of uh, Philippines, of, uh, ah, really. Republic of China. Almost of uh, Chinese uh, yes, ancestry. Chinese. We love our country. Yan ang ugali, no? And we love the people. Check. Ang lolo ko Chinese.
Yan ang ugali ng check. Most of us are really almost of uh, Chinese uh, ancestry. We love our country and we love the people. We love our country and we love the people. We love our country and we love the people. Ang lolo ko Chinese, yan ang ugali ng check.